Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the demo of online GDP compiler for PHP. How to run the PHP code in online GDP compiler. Google, go to search online GDP compiler. Choose the first link which shows online GDP dot com. So this is the editor. To do PHP program, you have to select language in the top right corner. So in the language, you have to choose PHP. Now this is an editor for PHP. So it display printing echo. It displaying hello world. So when you run the program, the output will appear. In the console window in the bottom of the editor. Now we will do a PHP code. The file name shown here is a main.php. PHP and the closing tag. Variable a equal to 10. Now running variable b equal to 20 variable c equal to variable a plus variable b now i'm displaying the result echo variable c the program is over again running this program output is 30 output is 30 output is 30 variable a equal to 10 variable b equal to 20 variable c equal to variable a plus variable b and echo c it gives an output is 10 plus 20 equal to 30 here so next debug mode for a php the debug mode is not supported debug mode for php program is not yet supported while running a program you want to stop you want to choose the stop button when you choose the stop button, the program will stop. Next to share, choose this share icon. You can share as a URL and you can share it in the path in SRC, SRC tag. Okay, so you can copy and you can uh, use it. When you copy and use it, I'm copying it and using it in the other window, my code will appear. You can share it through mail. When assignment is given, you can share it to mail also. So next, to save the project, you have to select the save icon. When you give a save, it'll ask you to log in. I'm using my Google account, giving a project name, PHP project, and I will save this project. When you select my project, it will appear, my code will appear in the PHP project. Next, beautify. Beautify won't work well for PHP because it will show the syntax error, so don't use it. So when I give a beautify, okay, the alignment will destroy this Python code. So spaces, it won't accept it by the The beautify tag won't work for PHP. When you give a beautify, the alignment is not par with this PHP syntax, so don't use beautify. If you want to download the code in your system, go to the download code icon. It shows the down arrow symbol. When you click this, the code will get downloaded. So it will be downloaded in your download files. So when you check in, in the download option, you will find the find main.php. Next, so this is in help tab. When you select this, you can find all the keyboard shortcuts supported by this editor. Next is setting. So this is a dark theme and I want to change it to light. 
you have to choose the light theme. Then go to light. Again, you want to change it to dark. Then go to go for the dark theme. Later mode, three types of editors are given: normal, Emacs, and Vim. You can choose whatever you prefer. Generally, default is normal. We can able to modify the font size. So it is medium. I want to say small. The font size will change to small now. I'm changing it to large. Now it is large. Tab spaces. How many number of spaces? That means four spaces. I'm setting default is four spaces. You want to decrease, you can decrease it to, or you want to increase, you are increase it to six up to eight. You are able to increase. Default is four. Auto complete on and off. So what is auto complete? When I type some command, it is supporting. This is known as auto complete. Okay, these codes are shown here. Auto complete. When I want to turn off this, you have to select the off. Then now you type nothing will appear. appear. Nothing will appear. So this is the auto complete on and off. Next word word wrap. You want to on the word wrap? You can select on. Default is off. Next. In my project, I will find the files. Okay, this is a PHP project. I will find all the files in the my project. When you select the project, you will go to the code. You want to upload a code. For example, I want to upload a code from my system. So here, I'm typing a command: PHP, and I'm closing it. Typing echo. Welcome to online GDB compiler. I'm saving it. Yes. My desktop. I'm saving it as a main dot PHP. So to upload a file from a system, how to choose the the upload file icon here? This is the upload file. Okay, it shows the up arrow. So upload desktop and my file name is main.php. I'm opening it. Now the code is appearing here. When I run the code, I will get the output. This is the way to upload the file from a system. To create a new file, now you have to choose the first icon for the new file. So you have to select this a new file name log. I'm giving a name as a test. So a new file will appear here. To rename the new file, when you select the, the triple dot in the right corner, you are able to rename it. Rename. I'm changing the test as a test one, and it will be renamed as a test one. To remove this, you have to choose the the delete option. It will get removed. Now we will go to the my projects. Okay. So in a PHP project, when I open this second, my code will get open. So we are having very second. This is a way to we are able to rename the project. For example, I am renaming the PHP project into PHP course. We we'll get renamed now. PHP project is renamed into PHP course. Next, to move somewhere. Okay. Then you have to filter them. You have to move somewhere. Then you will choose this option. Okay, you have to select the director folder. It will be moved to the directory. Next, to download the project, you have to choose the download option. And you want to share this project with someone else. The entire project can be shared. Okay, you have to choose it as a URL or a path. Next, this is the fork project. That means. When I modify the project, the modification will get uh, reflected. For example, I'm choosing my project. Okay, here what I'm assigning, I'm assigning a equal to 100. Okay, and I'm saving it. When I go to my project and open a PHP code, my change will appear here. The fork means okay, another version will get created. Another version of the same code will get created. That is known as a forking. I will show you how it is working now. So when I select a fork, fork project, so this is a fork project, so it shows fork from PHP code. So that means the separate version, the changes carried out here 
will not affect the, the actual code or the original code. So I am assigning A equal to 10,000, B equal to 20,000. Okay. So I am uh, saving it. When I save it, it will ask me uh, name of the project. So we are able to, it will show in a different project. Okay. Not in the same. So I am giving forked PHP. When you don't give for whatever changes you made, it will store it in the same file. Okay, I'm running the file. My output is 30,000. Now I'm going to my project. So I will find fork PHP and PHP code. Okay, that fork means okay. When you normally want to access and make some changes, the, the changes will reflect it here. For example, I made it here. I say A is a hundred from 10. It is reflected because I'm not forking it. But when I choose a fork project, means it will show it in a different project and different version. That is the Advantage of the fork, okay. The changes will affect the separate project, but you can do separate version of the file. So, another classroom, uh, learn programming and programming questions. I have discussed in the, all the previous videos. The links are uh, shared in the description. You can use and check all these options. The last one, when the command and the output, the output window is an interactive console and the text console. This is a text console. When I run it, the output will appear in the text mode, okay. So, this is a Another thing, when I want to change it to interactive console, the standard one, this is, a, this is an interactive console. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.